High in the Himalayas, where sheer cliffs rise into the clouds, lives the largest honeybee on Earth, the giant cliff bee. Their colonies are built in one of the most perilous places imaginable, exposed rock faces that tower more than 50 meters above the forest floor. On this single cliff, over two million bees are at work. Every day, workers return heavy with nectar and pollen, carrying with them the future of the hive. But finding food is only half the battle. To share their discovery, they perform one of the most remarkable communication methods in the natural world, the waggle dance. Each movement of the dancer's body encodes a message, distance, direction, and abundance. The rest of the hive watches closely, memorizing the instructions. Then, one by one, they launch into the air, following the directions precisely. Meanwhile, the bee that delivered the message must push her way back into the hive, slipping past thousands of buzzing bodies to deliver her load of nectar. Even this is risky, because here, everything is exposed. Unlike honeybees that nest in hollow trees or man-made hives, the cliff bees' only defense is themselves. Layer upon layer of bodies form a living shield protecting the colony. And there is good reason to be vigilant, for circling nearby are hornets. These are ruthless predators. To a hornet, a lone bee is nothing more than a quick meal. They patrol the edges of the hive, waiting for the perfect chance to strike. But the bees are not defenseless. As soon as a hornet approaches, the guards raise their abdomens in unison, flashing their stingers. This signal ripples across the surface of the hive like a living Mexican wave. To the hornet, it is no longer one bee against one hunter. It is a wall of thousands, united, defiant, and dangerous. Intimidated, the hornet veers away. The hive survives another day. But hornets are not the only ones interested in these bees. For centuries, another species has braved these cliffs in search of the treasure hidden within, humans. In Nepal, honey hunting is a tradition passed down through generations. The reward is nature's superfood, honey but the price of collecting it is extreme. Armed with nothing but a rope ladder, the honey hunters descend sheer cliffs, sometimes 50 meters high. There are no gloves, no shoes, no modern protection, only smoke to confuse the bees. Believing there is a forest fire, the bees begin to evacuate, their defense weakened. Now the real test begins. Balancing on thin ropes, surrounded by swarms of angry bees, the hunter uses a long pole to cut away the lower portion of the hive, where larvae grow, to reach the honey-rich comb above. With astonishing dexterity, oh, he steadies a basket comb. using only his feet, guiding the golden comb safely inside. Like Each movement is a gamble. One slip could mean a deadly fall. And yet, year after year, the hunters return. When they carry the combs back to their village, it is a moment of celebration. The sweet harvest is shared, not just as food, but as medicine, tradition, and survival. Though one hive may be sacrificed, the hunters take care to leave most untouched, for they know the bees must endure season after season to keep the cliffs alive with honey. Here, on the razor's edge of the Himalayas, survival takes many forms. The bees who defend their fortress, the hornets who stalk them, and the people who risk everything for a taste of liquid gold. In this place of danger and reward, the balance of life continues, and the giant cliff bees remain the guardians of the cliffs.